Your name is Janice Fredericks, am I correct? Yes. Can you spell your name? J-A-N-I-C-E-F-R-E-D-E-R-I-C-K-S. You are the owner of Fabulous Freddy's Beauty Supply Store here in Queens? Yes. What got you interested in starting a beauty supply store? What initially got me interested in starting a business um, is I come from a family that are entrepreneurs. I went to business school. I went to St. John's Tobin School of Business. And um, after school, I wanted to go for an MBA and realized that uh, I wanted to actually start my own business. Um, and so there was a need in my neighborhood for a beauty supply store. Um, I'm a third generation from this area, so I know the demographics very well. So what got me interested was that there wasn't a beauty supply store in the area. I'm into beauty, so um, it just made sense for myself. Other than the lack of a beauty supply store in this area, what else inspired you to start this business? I mean, what does this store have that other stores, other beauty supply stores do not have? On your website, you this you state that you offer an ethnic hair salon and you offer beauty supplies for male individuals. Right. We What makes my store different from the average store is that all of my staff members are well educated in the products that we sell. We provide a different level of customer service here and um, we do provide higher end upscale products for African American women and men. Which is what you felt did not exist in other stores that right. you... How did Lloyd Cambridge and NYC Business Solutions, how did they help you? I met Lloyd Cambridge actually after I started um, uh, the process of getting my business going. I uh, found NYC Business Solution through Project Enterprise. Um, it's a, basically an organization that helps entrepreneurs start up their business. It's a it's a several week course that we have to go through and we get certified um, and it just teaches you the foundational skills that every entrepreneur needs to know before getting into business. So I went through that course and I completed the course and got certified through Project Enterprise. Thereafter, um, I met with Lloyd Cambridge and he's um, and the whole staff has provided me with a lot of resources to uh, get my business started and to continue to run my business as well. What resources did they provide? NYC Business Solution provides several courses, um, like a continuing education um, program where you can take different classes, marketing, financing, um, accounting, different classes that I've taken. Um, Lloyd Cambridge has a lot of um, resources, um, individual resources, um, with regards to other organizations outside of NYC Business Solutions that help entrepreneurs with their businesses for free. So he's connected to a lot of non-for-profit um, organizations, business organizations. He is connected? Correct. Um, did NYC Business Solutions give you the capital in terms of, to, like the financial capital to start the business? Initially, my business was um, funded from seed money from my family. Um, two years after, I sat down with Lloyd to discuss smaller expansion projects that I had going on in my store, and he helped me with that process of getting a smaller loan after the two years of me being open, but not initially. So I got a loan two years after I opened, two separate loans from two different organizations, um, smaller loans that amounted to 10000 From NYC Business Solutions and from Project Enterprise, am I correct? Um, those, NYC Business Solutions facilitates the loan um, process for the entrepreneurs. The money actually doesn't come directly from them. They just help you 
fill out the loans. They connect you with different um, loan providers, and then you apply for a loan. So that's what their role was in, for, in me obtaining those loans. Um, why do you provide beauty supplies for men? Can you, um, I understand you're a woman, and obviously, mainly you associate beauty supplies with women. How come you provide them to men? Well, there's definitely a need um, for men to have um, their hair care products, especially African American men. Um, they take pride in their hair. And um, their hair, our, our hair texture is a unique hair texture, and we need products to maintain our look. Um, and so, and there's a lot of barbers in this area that I'm connected with that, you know, told me and helped me to provide more hair care products for men. Okay. Um, what? successes have you had in ter with this business? Um, when you say success, are you talking about profits? Are you talking about like the number of customers? The, or? the number of customers, general state of the business. Well, I mean, we've, we've had success. Um, we're still in our infancy stages. Um, we're almost three years. So, um, I mean, but we had a good, we had good feedback from the community. We do get a lot of support from the community. And we also get um, customers from um, outside the community, even outside the state. So, so far, um, you know, the word of Fabulous Freddy's have reached several different places because we carry unique products. One second. 